YouTubers. This is EJ Eric and this is Peter. <laughs> we're uh, today on the episode of Studio Stereo. We're going to go over going over the uh, Yamaha Easy AG. It's a uh, MIDI style of a uh, guitar. I guess you can call it a guitar. It's shaped like a guitar. It kind of plays like a guitar because it has strings, but it's not really a guitar. Yeah, it's a kind of a unique instrument actually. Uh I don't think there's anything really like it out there. Um, these cool things up here uh, are actually buttons. Each one of these is a very slender little fret button. And when you press it, it, uh, it triggers that as though you were uh, pushing down on a string. And that affects uh, the, the pitch of, the, of this little digital string down here. Now these are kind of like... I don't really know what they're made out of, but they're not really tense like a guitar string. They're kind of loose. You can see them moving on here. But it, it senses when you, when you pluck them, and there's some degree of uh, proportionality, whether you do it lightly or whether you, you know, do it hard. Uh, and there's also, uh, if you keep your finger or your hand, your thumb on the back side here, uh, I guess it, it conducts electricity through your body or something uh, because there's another little uh, metal patch here, which allows you to uh, put your hand over it, and it's though you're it's as though you're muting the strings like a real guitar. So if you you uh, strum the strings and then you stop the sound, so it's kind kind of like a real guitar. They tried to make it as realistic as they could. Um, there's so, some things are. are take a little getting used to, like, you can do hammer-ons, kind of hard to hear, in fact, you probably can't even hear that, um, I'll turn it up all the way, but you, it, the hammer-ons are not as, uh, prominent, oh, they are, they are okay, they are if you're, if you're, the string is already ringing, but as far as, uh, something that I'm fond of doing on a real guitar, uh, is like a, a pull-off, where you, you kind of flick the string as you're pulling your finger off of it, and you can't you can't do that on this. So, uh, if you're accustomed to doing that, doing that as your style of playing, you kind of have to uh, maybe alter the way you play certain passages. Well, that's not the only disadvantage: uh, muting individual strings when you're strumming the entire all six. Trying to mute a single string just ain't happening. It's not not in my experience. Like say for example. I wanted to mute the uh, number six string. I couldn't, unless I wasn't pulling the string at all. Oh, like muting no. it with your with yeah, your with your thumb, something, with your, with your, oh, okay. something that you can easily do on any kind of other guitar, or you know, just even lightly having just a little bit of pressure on there. And see, just a little bit of pressure is still going to play. One disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> of course, this isn't really a guitar. Um, another thing is that these things right now are running on batteries. Uh, what is this, like six double A's? Or, or a nine volt. In any case, it also plugs in, but uh, that's a good advantage if you want to take this thing around without having to plug it in left and right. Camping, for that matter, if you can't afford a real guitar. These things are yeah. about, what, 250 bucks a piece? 20 uh, bucks a piece? A little less than maybe 220, 230 for these things at the moment. Uh, as far as like keeping them in your car, like keeping them in the trunk of your car, uh, that actually, I've been doing that myself, and it works out pretty well because, uh, you know, there's no, um, <laughs> there's no, there's no rare uh, exotic woods here to get warped, you know. So uh, these things, you know, so far uh, have survived pretty well, like in the in the trunk of my car. Um, Getting used to these little buttons is takes a, takes a little bit of time. These things, uh, I guess, it's about the same size as a. Uh, well, as, as an electric guitar without uh, a head on it, you know, just those tiny little finger, you gotta have a tiny little fingers in order to be able to uh, get everything just right. And it's so. easy to, well, I think, well, for me at least, I don't have sausage fingers for yes. any means. I, I kind of <laughs> do, though. I kind of do, and that's why I like classical, because classical guitars have wider string spacing and uh, big fat necks, and like this this neck, to me, it feels more like a classical than, uh, than it does. Well, I got my classical right there. Oh, it's, it's about... I don't know, it's about a, a string or so larger than this. In yeah, my experience, it's, it, it gets wider as it gets farther down the neck, though, yeah. as well. But, um, 
the higher up you go, I don't know, I seem to get a little confused when it, when it comes to trying to play chords. Not to mention that uh, you tend to look to see if you're lighting up the, uh, the button or not, whether you're actually pushing it all the way down. Which, of course, you can always listen to it as well. Yeah, and the lightest buttons, uh, they go up to, I think, the sixth fret, and then beyond that, they're not lighted. So, I mean, that's, uh, I'm sure that they had did that for reasons of economy uh, or whatnot, but. Uh, well, not to mention, I imagine most of the, the major chords are first five. Yeah, your chances are, if you're, if you're playing bar chords up here, uh, you, you know what you're doing. That's a, a good advantage if you're, if you're, uh, making an instructional video that helps the, the viewer be able to see exactly what you're playing without trying to look around your fingers. Yeah, it really it really does. Like, you know, I don't know if you can see this, but you know, C major, D major, G major, A minor. It's a uh, it's a bit easier to see exactly what somebody's doing with the with the light up keys. Some of the features on this thing of course is the volume which cranks up there pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of songs on this thing, something like 20 songs that, that are already pre-programmed on in here. It's just a demo song. Two, three, four. Of course, you're never going to be able to actually play. I'm never going to be able to actually play these. <laughs> but uh, another thing is uh, that you can um, you can actually song select, and then there's a uh, a mode in here where where uh, to press play. One of these buttons here is. Or you can actually play the chord. Whether I know how to play or not. It'd be really good for like a kid. You know? Absolutely. I'm like a three-year-old. <laughs> See? It's almost like I can actually play. 